Yo, check out the crane here in Los Angeles. And you know, it's no Motivation Monday or Terrific Tuesday or anything like that. No alliteration I'm gonna do with the crane. I'm sure I could think of one, but I wanted to capture it because I got inspired by it. Yeah, I got real inspired by it of how it basically lifts up what it wants, picks it up, and is taking it to where it needs to go. Let's become cranes in our own life. Let's, you know, like the game machine at the movie theaters. Pick it, get that precision, accuracy, focus, concentration on whatever goal, whatever we need to do, right? Switch the lens, look at it on the right perspective. So you got the perspective right, you got the focus right, and then boom, grab it, then hold. There's a lot of physics going on there, the tension. Use that, and once you got to grab, take it to where it needs to go. But grab it and be resourceful with the resource. What a, what a great tool, instead of lifting it up and taking it up the stairs. See if you can get a tool, see if you can get an app on your phone. See if you can meet a person who might be skilled in your weakness. So you can double down on your strengths. And what I just learned from Mark Dom, he said people with, who double down on their strengths, they go much further. It can be great or you can be phenomenal by going far on your strengths, right? Be phenomenal or be forgotten, Eric Thomas says, right? You want to focus on your strengths. Grab the crane. If you don't, then you're insane in the membrane. What a tool. Use tools. Tools, tools, tools. Use the tools. Have a tool belt. Right? Be prepared. Have multiple tools. Ty Lopez, one of the 67 steps, I believe. Belts and suspenders. Right? You have a belt. Woo! Got my belt. Oh, but also have suspenders. So if your pants fall down, they won't fall down, right? One breaks, you're prepared. So cool stuff. Hope that inspired you. Always get inspired by life as you go by in daily life. Just get inspired. It's powering. Look at the environment. There's metaphors everywhere. Stay fresh, stay blessed, stay strong. Peace. Yo, it's fresh in the flesh. Hit out doing your quest. Your best. You can check. You made up. Knocked you out your comfort nest once again, my friend. Here at Life Kitchen, reading from Brian Tracy, journaling, and I got something to share with you. And that's to get inspired by the environment. I, once upon a time, about six months ago, I went to a seminar in New York City. And I'm there and I go to this Life Kitchen and I see this quote by Jim Rohn. And the quote says, take care of your body, it's the only place you got to live. That's why I like to promote fitness. That's why I studied exercise science. That's why I like to get around like-minded, health-oriented people. Now that inspired me. You know, Jim Rohn also says that the life is like seasons. And he says that if you didn't plant in the spring, then you'll be begging on your knees, begging in the fall. It's fall time and this place has a good harvest. They actually have the food right here, as you see. Bam, right behind me there. They have all these vegetables and stuff they're growing. They're reaping the harvest. Now this place has some quotes here I'm gonna share with you that are pretty cool. And it's right here. So I'm just, I'm, I walk into a place like this and I'm inspired by the quotes I see. Like good dinner, relations. So cool stuff there. But the one I wanted to show you specifically was this one by Maya Angelou. Take a close look. Read it. Do the best you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. So there's more quotes and stuff, but that one is very empowering. So you do the best you can, and then when you know better, do better. So that's what I think growing stronger and becoming a stronger version of yourself. That's what Elliot says it is. So are you doing that? And it's also a part of not judging yourself along the way and, and being self compassion right compassion for others is great but how about compassion for yourself I was reading that in the charisma myth that's the one thing I think I do well that really helps me that I wanted to share with you so when you learn something implement it and that's a great thing to do for you all the other thing I want to talk about is getting inspired by the environment you just saw I did next we're gonna go into a crane of how I get inspired by the crane over there and how I want you guys to be open to your environment and get inspired by people, right? Get inspired by life. We look right behind me, they're doing construction. This is off, I'm just thinking of this now. And they're doing construction and they're building. They're building this new 
facility, this new apartment maybe. So we're building ourselves on our journey. If you're watching this channel, you're building yourself. So just like this tower, this building behind me. So I just get inspired. Hey, I'm building myself too. We're building ourselves too. We get inspired by everything. And it's a great life to live. And I encourage you all to live an inspired life, right? I keep it success tracker because I live an inspired life. I write down what I'm inspired by. I write down what I'm grateful for. I read so I'm inspired. So it's cool stuff. That's it. Let's go look at the crane of how that inspired me. Stay fresh. Stay blessed. Peace.